From the CJN saga to Dino Milaya's absence in court, from Ikwere Madu's assurance of peace in PDP to INEC's stern warning, plus business, entertainment and sports stories. You're welcome to Root TV Top 10 News. I am Aisha Jibring. A federal high court has stopped the arraignment of Chief Justice of Nigeria, Justice Walter Onogen, at the Code of Conduct Tribunal over alleged non-declaration of assets. The court rules that status quo will be maintained till January 17th when the case will be heard. Meanwhile, the Code of Conduct Tribunal has adjourned hearing in the suit to January 22nd, 2019. A coalition of Niger Delta agitators says it will not hesitate to mobilize all the Niger Delta fighters and initiate serious action if the federal government does not reverse what they termed as an harassment on the CJN. Governors of the South South have also called on CJN to ignore the CCT summons. Senate President Bukola Saraki added that the plan to prosecute the CJN is open up a debate on the transparency and neutrality of the present administration. The absence of Dino Milai in court on Monday stole this trial in the ongoing alleged false information case in an Abuja Federal High Court. Milai, the senator representing Kogi West in the National Assembly, is facing a two count charge bordering on giving false information to the police. The case was adjourned until January 28 for continuation of hearing. Nigeria's deputy Senate President E.K. Kwerimadu has denied insinuations that there was ongoing crisis within members of the PDP. E. Kwerimadu's name was absent on the PDP's presidential campaign council. He has also not attended any of its campaign rallies. INEC has warned that it will work with security agencies to deal with those who try to compromise the distribution of permanent voters' card at the ward level. The warning comes as distribution of PVCs in registration areas begins on Wednesday across the country. Three persons are feared dead during an attack by unidentified gunmen between Asso and Tanda Bridge in Guan, Chiefdom of Jema, local government area of Kadun State. Chairman of the local government says unidentified gunmen opened fire on innocent persons who were walking along the Asso Tandem Bridge. The Lagos State University has suspended the remittance of Chekhov dues for its lecturers who are members of ASU. The university spokesperson says the remittance of Chekhov dues into the Union Bank account remain suspended, pending when the management and operation of the account will be properly regularized. The Nigerian Insurance Association has launched the USSD code star 565-11 hash that will enable motorists to verify the authenticity of their insurance policies. The chairman of NIA says the device was designed to bring insurance closer to the people and ultimately eliminate fake insurance certificates in the market. Nigerian entertainers have joined the Global 10 Years Challenge in which social media users share a collage of photos showing them as they were 10 years ago and as they are now. Nottingham Forest, the central point former player Martin O'Neill, his manager to succeed at a Karanta, British media reported on Monday. The championship club parted company with Spinard Karanka last week after just 12 months in charge at the city ground. For more news updates, follow social media handles as displayed on your screen. And that's the Genre TV Top 10 News today. I am Aisha Jabrin.